Good evening and welcome to all of our viewers joining from the comforts of their home. I'm Nicholas So from the Diploma in Advertising and what you just watched was the opening sequence of the NAFA eGrad Expectations. Uh, this is the Gucci FR series, uh, which is, you know, Gucci is slang for good and for real, it's self-explanatory. Um, we're just going to be kicking it and talking about our past experiences as NAFA students. Um, joining me today are five of my friends. Um, would you guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, guys. Um, so my five friends are all from different programs in the School of Art and Design. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, sure. I shall start. I am Unsi from the other side of the campus, so I'm specialized in fashion studies. Hi, I'm Michelle Romi. I'm from Indonesia, and I'm from uh, 2D Design. Hi, I'm Angelo. I'm from Design and Media, and I study Diploma for Screen Media. Hi, I'm Cam. I'm from Diploma in Fine Art. And hi, I'm Clyde. I'm from Diploma in Fine Art as well. And together, we are twins. <laughs> All right, hi, guys. Um, I'm just going to get straight into it and ask the questions. Um, what was your first impression of NAFA? Auntie, let's start with you. OK, for me, when I first joined the open house to find out more about NAFA, I thought that NAFA had a really fun and supportive community, and that made me really want to be a part of it. So after seeing the facilities of the school as well, it made me realize, hey, this is the school I want to go to to pursue, pursue passion design. Pretty cool. Um, was it the same for you, uh, Michelle? Yeah, so my first impression of NAFA when I was first introduced is that my NAFA have a lot of facilities, and one of them is a workshop that equipped with machines that can support me in expressing my love for design into a tangible way. So yeah, I'm really grateful for that. That's pretty cool. Um, NAFA does have a lot of equipment to support the students. Angelo, is it the same for you? Yeah, um, when I was looking for art school to pursue my studies in media, you know, you go around and you ask people's opinions and NAFA is just one of the more frequent answers you get. And you wonder, you know, what's so good about this school? And so when I went to the open house, like the rest of the guys, uh, I remember thinking that, you know, this school is huge, you know. You have the various campuses spread across town with their own unique facilities. And the seniors there at the time um, at the open house were also very excited to share about their experiences there. And this made it really easy to decide, like, which school I played my trust in, in order to progress further as a creative. Awesome. Now, Klein and Kemp, what about you? What was your first impression of NAFA? Uh, I'm going to echo Dan as well. So I think my first impression of NAFA was uh, a really warm one uh, because uh, the student volunteers during the open house were really uh, pumped for the occasion as well as they were, they were also really very helpful uh, in guiding my queries and also touring me around the school uh, to answer uh, whatever I wanted to ask. And um, yeah, so I think that was the, the decision or uh, that helped me in, um, uh, a lot in enrolling uh, myself in the school. I think similar for me too. Uh, I was really amazed when I visited the open house. Um, what really attracted me over there was the Skylight Studio, where I feel like there's a very active and vibrant kind of learning culture, which um, I wanted, um, where well, I felt like my, the type of education learning is aligned to um, what is happening in NAFA. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and second both of those opinions, man. Those, uh, mm -hmm. those student ambassadors are pretty loud, and uh, NAFA facilities are pretty impressive. So I'm going to go and segue into the next question, because uh, you know everyone here seems to have a great first impression of NAFA. Did that translate well into your overall experience throughout the years? Um, Angelo, you want to start with that? Um, OK. Um, I joined NAFA as a first year back in 2016. And then um, um, you know I got really sick uh, coming to the end of the second semester uh, of the first year and had to take a year's worth of break. So I rejoined the next batch in um, 2018, and I got to say that the vice dean, the um, HOD, the lecturers on my course, and even the counselors, you know, had done really well to assist me back into the curriculum. And I'm very grateful for the extra steps taken to help me ease in socially. And I got to say, if I have all the time in the world, 
I don't mind going through the entire Nafa experience again. Yeah, I respect that. I respect that. It's not easy, you know, being sick and having to kind of push through that to, and continue your studies. Um, yo, Michelle, uh, what was your experience like in Nafa? How was how was that overall? Uh, as a foreign student, I met a lot of wonderful people from different culture and background. Where these friends support me, and we we gather together with throughout our learning journey. Other than that, also I pick up. Uh, Many skills that will uh, benefit for me in the future, and both con and also experience in Alpha, uh, I got to experience post confidence to dive in ready to work in my chosen field. It's great to see that we have a lot of camaraderie in the school. I'm really happy to see that everyone's making good friends and having a good experience. Um, but what about you, MC? Was was everything kind of similar to the rest, or was it um? A little different in from your perspective. I think, in my opinion, I felt that the school experience is very similar to them. It was the people that made it great. So I personally felt that Nafa was a place for growth. We were always learning new things and inspiring each other. So I feel that the lecturers, the alumni, my schoolmates, everyone was like a source of inspiration. And then uh, as artists, we all built on that to develop and grow ourselves. So in summary, I feel that Nafa was the place where I met people, formed new bonds, and that will help me in the future. That sounds really inspiring too. But I'm gonna ask you another question here. Do you think that mm -hmm. Nafa was like you could? Do you think you could find anything like this in another place, or was this is this really something like exclusive to Nafa? I think this is definitely exclusive to Nafa because it's the Nafa community spirit, right? You can't find the Nafa community spirit elsewhere. <laughs> I agree. I agree 100%. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm going to move on to the next question, guys. Um, you know, these great experiences, I mean, hearing these from you is making me feel really great, but I want to know what your best moment was, you know, whether it was um, winning something or kind of just spending some good time with your friends. I'm going to start with Klein and Kemp. Um, what was your best moment in NAFA? Um, for me, I think it was staying late at night to do um, your uh, school work. So be it, if it was FYP or it was um, year two and year one, I think um, those nights were really memorable because um, it's very uh, warming to see to see everyone working hard together uh, in the studio. Same for me as well. I find that my best memorable um, experience would be staying late at night in the studio where um, we would do work together, talk together, laugh together. Um, even exchanging ideas, which only then can we like build relationship with one another. So that was one of my best experiences. A lot more on that camaraderie and good times with good friends. Um, Angelo, what was your best moment? You know, you're from Screen Media, right? So I mean, I'm guessing you guys are in charge of capturing the best moment or something like that. <laughs> what, was, what was your best moment? Um. I think the best moments for me were the opportunities created to work with different people from different backgrounds and different personalities. So for one of our projects, you know, I had the opportunity to fly to Jogja, Indonesia, to work on a documentary on puppeteering with my class. And it was a heck of an experience. There were 20 of us that went in groups as two. Um, my group went cave diving, we took long road trips or seeing like nobody's watching in the van. You know, there were so many fascinating places to sightsee and the food there was amazing. And I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to have experienced it here. Sounds fun. There's plenty of overseas trips that NAFA students take. And if I'm not wrong, Michelle took an overseas trip to Thailand sometime last year. Um, could you tell me more about that? Uh, yeah, so I get the, the opportunities to participate in Furniture Origins in collaboration with Community in Thailand. In the moments, we get to work together, deliver design and racing with time given to present to the client. We stay up a few nights also, but the results are satisfying. And also, we have another trip to Thailand where we get to go to uh, jewelry workshops. And after that, we get to spend time together as a friends and travel Thailand. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there was two trips, right? 
what was like um yeah. you know what was like the biggest thing that you found like in, in Thailand that was kind of different because you're from you're a, um, an overseas student right you're from Indonesia so like what was like the like the biggest takeaway from Thailand um, going to a foreign country as a student in a foreign country oh uh, the biggest takeaway is probably uh, of course the food is great <laughs> and the friends I mean we spent time together as like just friends hanging around and I feel like we such that uh, we create such a like a bond i would say yeah and for culture i think yeah we i experience their culture also like from the students it's good to hear i'm, I'm time myself so i kind of like appreciate that answer all right um auntie what was your what was your best moment I mean, I oh, heard. I think you had a little um, special moment with the uh, with your friends in campus too, right? Yes, yes. From what I know. Yes. <laughs> so I think my best moment in Nafa was watching everyone grow, because in we are all like fashion students secluded in our own small campus too, right? So the cohort is very small. We know everyone. We see everyone's struggles and hard work. So throughout like my three years in Nafa, I felt that seeing the growth of everyone was very inspiring, and that was the best moment I had. Because when it came to the final year project, we saw everyone's hard work that delivered to the accumulation of like their knowledge and their experiences. And seeing the FYP project made it like, wow, everyone can actually do this. And it was so fascinating to me yeah, to see everyone's strength, weaknesses, downs and ups. All right. Um, how would you describe like um, how you changed from the beginning to end of your, the beginning to the end of your school career? I mean, you said you saw uh, wow. you see the progress, right? <laughs> so like you at the beginning versus you now. Um, could you yeah. describe the differences? I think definitely at the beginning as an artist, I had a lot of doubt when it came to like creating artworks and stuff. Throughout my journey in Nafa, it made me realize that you know you have to believe in yourself as an artist, and the biggest challenge is yourself. So overcoming that, adapt, improvise, and that's the best takeaway. <laughs> that is a great takeaway. Um, okay, I'm going to move on to Klein and Kemp. What was your best moment in Nafa? Um, my best moment was, I think, when we all do crazy things together with your friends. So I think back in year one, I think uh, we, I think my classmates went uh, uh, for a Halloween party, so they dressed up for school in Halloween costumes. Uh, although I didn't participate in it, but I felt like it was a really fun moment. Uh, as well as I think recently, uh, there was uh, in year three we had uh, uh, we had our cohort uh, uh, playing with one another as well. Uh, I think it was called the Holy Festival. Uh, yeah, so they 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 spread, uh, they spilled colors all over one another. So that was uh, another occasion I can remember. I think also um, um, yeah. same for me. Yeah, it was the a group of my friends who was from India. They introduced this um culture of theirs, which is the Holy Festival. So they were going around it's like um throwing color powders then everyone really look really colorful at the end of the day <laughs> that sounds really fun so i'm hearing a lot about the ups guys i'm hearing a lot about the ups but life is all about the ups and downs and school is no exception so could you guys name some challenging times that you kind of faced when you were um in school um, let me start with uh, Angelo. You're in screen media, right? That's, that's a tough subject. You guys, you guys got to stay late for shoots. So, what was it like? What was the toughest moment like for you? Um, I think one of the toughest moments is um, definitely the FYP, uh, especially with the COVID outbreak that was like inching in and like threatening the social aspect of our society. Um, we had to like learn to adapt. And improvise because we had a lot of interaction with the talents, the crews, and to learn to push our schedules forward. And I'd say that um, my group was very lucky to meet the right people at the right time and to have completed um, anything practical before the lockdown even happened. So I really couldn't have done it without them. I was really lucky to have collaborated with this bunch because they were simply the best at what they do. All right. Now, uh, of course, you know, COVID is going to come up because, I mean, COVID, right? Uh, how did you guys, <laughs> how did you guys, um, okay, 
First of all, all you guys have studios in the school, right? You guys are going there to work every day. It's not like um, some other classes in DNM where we have to find a classroom. Um, and she's in fashion, she has her own studio. Uh, Michelle has her own studio as well. Kleine Kemp, of course, Skylight Studio. How did COVID affect your work? I mean, it must have like been huge because you guys couldn't come to school anymore. Could you tell us, Michelle, how you adapted to this whole situation? Um, yeah, same like Angelo, we get to we have to improvise and adapt. So supposedly we submit um, physical items, physical products, but because there's a lockdown, so we managed to submit online. But yeah, we push until our best. Sounds 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 good. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna move on uh, to um, Unsi. How did you overcome the challenges of, that COVID presented to us? Wow, I think it was really difficult for fashion because all our equipments are back at school, right? So actually for us, there were a lot of changes made to the curriculum. So everyone had to make changes, like change their schedule so that they can get all the things that are more urgent done. Well, the rest you have to just figure out how to do it at home. So I think like overall, the COVID-19 was a big mess. <laughs> our graduation, um, the runway got cancelled and everyone was pretty sad. But I think throughout the journey, everyone motivated each other. And I think I really saw the NAFA community spirit where we support each other and just make the days in NAFA a more positive one, regardless of the COVID-19 situation. Yeah, for myself, I think I just worked with whatever materials I have and same as everyone, adapt, overcome and improvise. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, I'm happy that everybody kind of overcame their challenges. I'm going to take a minute to check the YouTube and, uh, and Facebook channels for some comments from our audience. And oh my god, it's Heyman Cabral uh, who commented, Hey Nick, what was your best moment in NAFA? Um, first of all, hi Heyman. Um, my best moment in NAFA was probably winning the crowbar challenge uh, last year with my boys Gary, um, Hakim, Timothy, and Darren. Shout out to those guys. Because uh, the year before, um, my crowbar challenge was a disaster. Uh, for a bunch of reasons and to be able to go out and kind of um, redeem myself felt great uh, and that's my best moment. <laughs> Do we have any more questions from the audience um, before I continue? Oh, um, I think we have some more questions from the audience. Um, <laughs> um, oh, that's right. Um, how, are you, how are you guys um, better prepared? Oh, I'm gonna skip that question really quick. I'm sorry guys, give me a second. Um, <laughs> What will you guys miss most from NAFA, from Miss ABBH102? Um, <laughs> I'll start with Client Camp. What, what, what are you going to miss the most from NAFA, guys? Come on, just what's up? I think I'm going to miss the late night where, you know, your friends and yourself are in the studio um, doing work, having fun, exchanging ideas. Uh, it was always nice to have that space that you have that you don't really have that at home. So it was really like a second home. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss the studio the most. For me as well, I think the studio is something I'm going to miss a lot because um, the school provided an extra space for us. And this space um, over time became very personal. Uh, and, um, you know, having, having used the space almost every day, I think it's um, ultimately something that I will miss most um, because you don't have that luxury or space um, uh, elsewhere, not even at home, uh, because it's not feasible sometimes. Okay. Uh, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty jealous of you guys for that Skylight Studio. It is a nice studio. <laughs> and every time I could not find a classroom, I'd walk by level six, I'd be like, oh, these fine artists, man, they get all their own spaces and all. Um, real quick, uh, Unji, what, um, what are you going to miss the most from NAFA? Well, I'm going to miss my friends and having the studio space because for fashion, we spend so much time in school, right? So it's like a second home and to part away from your second home is something that is going to be painful, I feel. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to miss everyone, yeah. It's nice to hear that. Um, I'm checking the YouTube and Facebook channels for more questions. And I have one from Dawira Nata... <laughs> Some, uh, this one question that says, um, any special thanks to friends or teachers? Uh, I'm going to start off with Angelo. Um, anyone you want to give a quick uh, shout out to? Uh, <laughs> quick shout out to Delwin for asking the question, I guess. Um, to my friends, uh, my group mates, you know, and the lecturers especially, you know, they've um, really um, put in a lot of effort to help um, 
guide us and to nurture us as creatives and to prepare us for the industry in the future. And shout out to the BOB team as well. You know, they put a lot of effort into the BOB um, grad show that's coming up after this. Shout out to Delwin indeed. I hope you're doing all right, Delwin. Um, next question uh, I'm going to give to Michelle. Which teacher inspires you the most? Answer correctly. <laughs> Uh, every I think every teacher inspires me uh, because they encourage me and then they support me in every kind of struggle I have. They advise, advise me and yeah, I think That's every teacher is... Great, great answer, Michelle. Me. Really great answer. But <laughs> which one inspires you the most? Do you have any specific one you want to name? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who inspires me the most? Mm. Shout out to David Tam, who always encourages my uh, projects in every way. Yeah. Sounds like a great answer to me. All right. Um, next question <laughs> is from Phoebe Medina. All right. Her question is Food Republic or Kofu? Um, I'm going to start that <laughs> off by saying I didn't even know there was a Kofu <laughs> nearby school, and Food Republic <laughs> is closed, right? But while I was open, Kleiner Kemp, which was your favorite? Food Republic or Kofu? Uh, yeah, Food Republic or Kofu. Like, I think Kofu's at SMU. I'm just, I'm getting worried that yeah, Kofu is actually at SMU. Kofu. <laughs> Definitely Kofu. Yeah. Oh, you guys went there? I didn't even know this existed. All right, okay. Um, do we have any more questions from the audience? Um, okay, what's... What's next for all you guys? I think we'll save that question for later because um, we'll be discussing that. Um, I'm going to take in one more. And how was the internships by John Lowe? Um, um, was, Unsee, what was your internship like? Oh, I think my internship was the best I could have asked for because it was actually by one of my lecturers. So he runs a studio, his Max. So being able to work with someone familiar made me realize that Wow, I have so much more to learn from. And I think the NAFA internship opportunities was very vast. I have schoolmates going to everywhere and like, and I felt that everyone's experience was unique to them and it will be very memorable for each of us. Lovely, lovely. Uh, I, I, can, I can pretty much second that. My internship was pretty crazy. Um, uh, any more questions from the crowd? Any more questions from the crowd? I got room for one more. So if anyone wants to put up something crazy, please do right now. Anything, anything. Um, guys, okay, just <laughs> hold me for a second. I'm looking for a question. Um, what is what is your favorite sport? Uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask Angelo. You look like a sporty guy. What was your favorite sport? Other than holding favorite cameras. Sport? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's gotta be football, man. Liverpool, man. Champions. Okay. Liverpool. What are they like a team yeah. or something? All right. Um. Uh, Michelle, who is your favorite sport? My favorite sport? Um, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't know. Eating. Okay, well, there you have it. Michelle, does not have a Michelle doesn't have a favorite sport. All right. Um, okay, I have... Did I get another question in here? No, okay. Uh, okay, guys, I'm just going to um, kind of wrap it up and ask you guys. How are you guys, um, what are your future plans um, moving out of NAFA? You guys are all graduating. Um, congratulations, by the way. Uh, Klein and Kemp, what's your future plan? I think for me, I'm going, so first I'm going to be NSF, so that's one. Um, but I think after NSMAN, there are a few alternatives. Um, one, I'm hoping to pursue a degree in, stay in the creative scene, where I will be um, looking more towards um, art rather than just fine art itself. Um, I think I'm also looking forward to working in industries that are beneficial to um, whatever I'm studying in the future and um, yeah, gain some experience and um, that could help me or allows me to understand what I really want to do um, moving forward. Um, as for myself, I am going to serve the army for two years first. Um, I think I have not really thought through or like uh, finalized my decision, but 
um, I might venture into social science um, uh, if I carry on um, studying degree or taking a degree course or um, I might still find myself in the creative scene. Um, so uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be in fine art, but um, it could be something else. Nice, nice. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys climb up the ladder. Um, Angelo, what's your future plan? Um, I think I want to further explore boundaries to see how far I can push my skills. I mean, in the creative field, you know, it's all about making your work stand out from the crowd. Like, what's so special about it? How original is it? Um, so the future that I'm looking forward to for myself is, I think... The most important aspect for me is to have progression in any forms, you know, not just in terms of skills, but also as a human being and as a professional. Okay, okay. Keep on doing you, bro. Um, Anji, uh, your future plan? I think for the next year, I'll be joining the NAFA degree course for fashion. And afterwards, I would like to go into the industry to put my skill sets I've learned in NAFA to use. So learn some new things and gather some new experience before finally moving on to hopefully starting my own thing. Yeah. All right. Hope I can buy from your label someday. Um, and of <laughs> course, uh, Michelle, what is your future plan um, right now, I guess? Oh, well, I, my plan is that I dive in into uh, creative industry first, gain some experience and some skills and work on my set skills and uh, after that maybe I want to create my own label and brand to share my love of design with the world. Yeah. All great answers from great artists with a great plan for the future. Um, okay, we have come to the end of our first Gucci for Real series. Uh, thank you all for joining uh, and tune in tomorrow for the next installment at 3 p.m. Uh, say bye guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>